can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Solve for all values of x given this equation x raised to the fourth power plus 4 equals to 0. You can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. To answer this question, what we're going to do is to factor this equation. I know what you're thinking. x to the fourth power plus 4 is not factorable. Not yet factorable. But we will force x raised to the fourth power plus 4 be factorable. So what we're going to do is, what if there is a term 4x squared in this equation? x raised to the fourth power plus 4x squared plus 4 is definitely factorable because this is the result when we expand x squared plus 2 quantity squared. So x squared plus 2 quantity squared will give us x raised to the fourth power plus 4x squared plus 4. But we don't really have 4x squared in our original equation. So what we're going to do here is to balance this equation by subtracting 4x squared. Now, 4x squared and negative 4x squared cancel out. This is just 0. So our equation remains x raised to the fourth power plus 4. Alright? Now, but take note that x raised to the fourth power plus 4x squared plus 4 is x squared plus 2 quantity squared. So we can replace this expression with x squared plus 2 quantity squared like this. And now, what we're going to do here is to take note that this 4 is 2 squared. Now, let's use this identity if we have a raised to n times b raised to n. It is equivalent to a b raised to the power of n. If we have the same exponent, we can just multiply their bases. So, 2 squared times x squared can be written as 2x raised to the power of 2. And now, we will now force to factor our original equation because we have a square number minus another square number. So we can now use the difference of two squares. If we have a squared minus b squared, this can be written as a plus b multiplied by a minus b. Wherein in our equation, a represents x squared plus 2 and this b represents 2x. So if we factor the left hand side, this will give us x squared plus 2 plus 2x multiplied by x squared plus 2 minus 2x. So now, let's focus on this factored form. And then, let's rearrange some terms a little bit. And since it is equal to 0, it follows that at least one of them must be equal to 0. So we can say that x squared plus 2x plus 2 equals to 0, or x squared minus 2x plus 2 must be equal to 0. And now, to answer this question, to solve for the value of x, we will use the quadratic formula. We have negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. On the other equation, we will use the same thing, quadratic formula. Now, on the first equation, a must be equal to the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. b is the coefficient of x, which is 2. And c is the constant, which is 2. And on the second case, a must be 1, b equals negative 2, and c must be equal to 2. Now, let's focus again on the first case and let's substitute all the given values to our quadratic equation like this. And then, let's simplify. 2 squared will give us 4. 4 times 1 times 2 will give us 8. So, we have 4 minus 8. 2 times 1 will give us 2. Now, 4 minus 8 will give us negative 4. And square root of negative 4 is 2i. And if we simplify this negative 2 plus or minus 2i divided by 2, this will give us negative 1 plus or minus i. Now, on the second case, let's substitute all the given values. Ne then, let's simplify. Negative of negative 2 will give us 2. Negative 2 squared will give us 4. 4 times 1 times 2 will give us 8. And 2 times 1 on the denominator will give us 2. Now, 4 minus 8 will give us negative 4 again. And square root of negative 4 will give us 2i. 
Now, simplify. 2 plus or minus 2i over 2 will give us 1 plus or minus i. Therefore, we have four possible values for x. In this equation, x raised to the fourth power plus 4 equals to 0. Namely, x equals to negative 1 plus i or negative 1 minus i. We have also 1 plus i and 1 minus i. Therefore, these are all possible values for x. And as always, we are done.